Welcome to the 17th video in the Metric Math Water Wastewater YouTube series. This video will focus on finding the weir overflow rate in cubic meters per meter of weir per minute of water or wastewater production or a community water or wastewater plant. The question that this video is based on states, a 35 meter in diameter clarifier has a flow rate of 21 megaliters per day. Find the weir overflow rate in cubic meters per meter per minute. So the first question that needs to be asked, well, what's a weir? When you take a look at a typical clarifier, whether it's a water plant or a wastewater plant, you'll notice that the water comes in the bottom through that pipe, comes up to the middle of the tank, and then circulates downwards. And as it slows down, as the water fluid movement slows down, then the sludge and the crud settles out to the bottom. But the much clearer water then flows over top of a, a dam around the perimeter. And in this case, you can see it on the picture to the left. And that's the weir. It's a dam, but the water flows over top. What we're trying to find in this video is what is the rate or the volume of water that flows in each minute over each meter of that perimeter. That's what the focus of this video is. What are the key words in the information that's provided? Well, first of all, it's a round weir, as is implied by the term diameter. The size of the clarifier is about 35 meters. And notice how it has a flow rate of approximately 21 megaliters per day. Now, when you take a look at the question, what is then being asked? So it says find the weir overflow rate in cubic meters, so that's the volume, across each meter of the weir for each minute. So that's the focal point. Now, we have to do some conversions before we can get into this particular question. First thing that we have to look at is 21 megaliters per day has to be converted to cubic meters per minute. And when we take a look at that, notice we're, we're not even referring to the meters at this point in time. We're just going to take care of two of the three variables. So 21 megaliters per day multiplied by 1,000 cubic meters per megaliter. Notice how the megaliter unit cancels out. Now you're at 21,000 cubic meters per day. But we want to get rid of that per day business. And so now what is going to be left is going to be cubic meters per minute. When we look at the units, cubic meters is left on the top and minutes is left on the bottom. So the left side does equal to the right side. That's the unit that we want. And the answer for this is approximately 14.583 cubic meters per minute. But that's going across the entire perimeter. We want to find out how much is going across each individual meter of that weir. So now we have to figure out, okay, well, what is that distance around the clarifier? Now, perimeter is equal to pi times diameter. We know that the diameter is 35 meters. We know what pi is. And so the perimeter is now 109.96 meters. Now we can take that answer and plug it in to the previous answer, which was 14.583 cubic meters per minute. But that's around the entire perimeter. We want to find out how much it is just for one meter of that perimeter. So as a result, we take the previous answer in cubic meters per minute and we divide it by meters, and then notice we will get the unit of cubic meters per meter per minute, and the answer is 0.1326 cubic meters per meter per minute. That's going to be the weir overflow rate for this particular water plant. Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel, put in some comments, pass the site on to other water and wastewater students. Goodbye for now. Have a good day.